Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, what I'm about ready to show you is a video taken by a black student for two of his buddies who attacked from behind a white student at Scott High School. Now, we're gonna play the video now and I'm going to show you exactly what's going on here. You see, as the black boy comes up behind the other kid, hits him behind the, the head, he goes down, he starts beating the hell out of him, he's shouting the N-word, yes, the N-word, then you have two teachers coming in to intervene, and he resists that. And then they finally pull him off, and then the other kid comes around to taunt him a little bit. By the way, one of their friends was actually videotaping this. But look at this violent act. Now, here's what happened. Now, this, I got a hold, I got an inside source at Scott High School who got a hold of this videotape and sent it to me with the facts. I can't stress this enough. I don't know if all of these kids are minors or not minors, but folks, that doesn't apply to yours truly. It doesn't apply to you. And not only that, remember what I've been saying about minors, that we need to reevaluate who we consider a minor in this day and age, in this world. Do you look at a 16-year-old and a 17-year-old the same way you did a 16 and 17-year-old in the 1970s or 80s? I sure as hell don't. These kids are exposed to so much and they act so much. But here's my question. You're not gonna believe this. It's my understanding, are you ready for this? That the parents of this boy that got the hell beat out of them still doesn't know what discipline, if any, has been put forth by Scott High School against these three boys. And there was a rumor going around that the police department ordered them to take it down when the father posted the video. That apparently is not true. But I also saw some social media posts where the relatives of these black boys threatened the dead. Threatened the dead. And I also got facts and information from a very reliable source inside the school that said that this white kid that got pummeled was mistaken for another kid. In other words, they beat the hell out of the wrong target. And that there was a rumor going around that this was the knockout game, that's not the case. As you can see by that video, this was clearly somebody that was really pissed off and not just some random hit. But they beat the hell out of the wrong kid. And by the way, the kid that got the hell beat out of him, country boy, wears boots, wears Carhartt, but remember what I was been talking about, black privilege? You know what? The family doesn't even know if there were criminal charges filed against them. They haven't even heard from the student resource officer. Imagine that. They haven't even heard from the student resource officer. Now, I want to share some things with you. Scott High School, assault on school employee or student on school property at a school-sponsored event. This also applies to threats towards staff and members. Fighting, willful conduct, first violation, third day suspension, and possible charges filed by student resource officer. Well, I don't know when this, this violation was or how many that the kid has or doesn't have, but watching that video as a father, as a grandfather, disturbed the hell out of me. Just think how you would feel if that was your kid. And guess what? The police, he went down and made a report to Taylor Mill Police. The Taylor Mill Police haven't even talked to the guy. You can't make this up. And you know, the school, after this happened, he came up to pick up his kid. They were going to let the kid walk home. After that happening to him, all beat up. I'm not going to show pictures of, of his wounds, but that's unbelievable, which I have. But you, can you believe this? Unfreaking believable. And by the way, just so you know, this happened on April 6th. It's been over a month ago. And these parents don't know squat of what's going on. And you know what? Don't tell me it's all about this. Well, they're juveniles and there's privacy. This is a victim. The victim has a right to know. If the victim's a juvenile, he has a right to know.
Unfreaking believable. There you have it. Think, look, look at this. Unbelievable. I want to show it one more time. Look what's going on in this video. Absolutely awful. Can you imagine if that was your kid? Now, I'm just saying, our media, local media, hasn't played that video. National media, the double standards. That's what, can you imagine? Let me tell you what would happen. Let's reverse the roles. The kid was black, they got the hell meat out of him, and there was three white students that did that. The blacks would be burning down Scott High School. We would have national news media here. Ben Crump would be at Scott High School. And they would be threatening to burn it down if there wasn't punishment. Do you see how messed up this world is? The double standards. Is it okay for a white kid to get the hell beat out of him by a bunch of black kids? The answer by the national news media is absolutely it's okay. They only care when a black guy gets shot by a cop. Black people can kill black people. Black people can beat the hell out of white people. All of that is okay. That's where we are through the American Communist 10. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Stay safe.